happened tonight, we're also learning that Rafael Martinez never had a TLC license. According to the TLC commission, he never should have been driving a cab. We are now learning that the driver accused of raping a 12 year old, 32 year old Rafael Martinez was unlicensed and operating illegally. The Taxi and Limousine Commission in a statement writing, Mr. Martinez is neither a TLC driver nor representative of our hardworking and authorized licensees. It comes as the general manager of Evelyn Car Service, where Martinez was an independent driver, is speaking out, saying she helped police track down Martinez after he allegedly raped the young girl. I give them every single information they want, and I give him the guy. What's unclear is how Martinez worked as an independent driver without a license. The general manager telling us his license checked out and there was no way they could have known he would allegedly commit such a heinous crime. This guy has worked for me for a year and I've never, ever, ever, ever had complaints about this guy. No customers at all. The cab dispatch center that has been in the community for 27 years has started getting death threats over the incident. Some community leaders say the company should have done a background check on the driver. The thought process now is to find out who is responsible for betting these drivers that are driving these vehicles. According to police, Martinez picked up the 12 year old by Carlton Avenue in Fort Greene, Brooklyn. She was put in the back of the livery cab by her parents on a trip to a relative's house, thinking she would be safe. But on the way to their destination, police say Martinez jumped in the back seat and raped the girl. GPS data apparently confirming the vehicle stopped for some time. What happened, sir? What happened, Rafael? What happened, Mr. Martinez? We're being told that Mr. Martinez is expected to face a judge any minute now. Live in downtown Brooklyn, I'm Cristian Benavides, Pixel of the News.